Hi boys and girls. For this week's art lesson, we are going to do a piece that's inspired by um, Picasso. And if you watched the little video that I attached to the Google lesson, he painted a picture similar to this and it was it's called a blue guitar. So what you're going to need is a piece of paper and a ruler, right here I have one, and a pencil. I'm gonna use a pen so you can see mine. And I am going to paint mine with watercolor, but if you don't have watercolor, you can get your crayons, but you need to only use purples and blues. So as many purples and blues as you can find, that's what you're gonna need for this. And I, and if you have watercolor, you can do it with watercolor. If not, crayons will be just fine. Okay, so our first step is going to be to draw a circle. Now it's not, it's going to be kind of in the middle here and it's going to be the middle part of the guitar. And I am just going to draw a circle in the middle of my paper. Now from this right here on this side, I am going to draw a rectangle that is attached to my circle. Then I am going to draw the neck of the guitar from this line out towards, but I don't wanna go all the way to the edge because we wanna leave room for the top. But we do wanna get wider as we go out, so it's gonna be kind of an angled line like this. And like this. Now, once we've done that, we're going to connect those two lines. And then we're gonna draw a curved line that goes out to the edge of the paper, wider than the neck, like that. Okay, then around the circle, we're gonna make it a double circle. So you're gonna to wanna to make, and not super fat, but matching circle that goes around and connects. And these two lines are supposed to be close to the same, just like that, because it's supposed to be like one line. All right, then you're gonna take your ruler and you're going to draw lines, skinny, and then you leave a, a big space. Two lines close together and then a big space. Two lines close together and then a big space. And then the last one, you'll just, this will be the skinny one up here. So this is the neck of the guitar. Then what you're gonna wanna do down here at the other end, you're gonna do a rectangle. This is where the strings would normally attach. And it's about as wide as your um, circle. And because we want it to be straight, I'm gonna use a ruler. And then I'm gonna draw out. and connect those. Now you have a rectangle. Now to make the body of the guitar, you're gonna to wanna to start up here and you're gonna make a hill. And it's gonna go, it's actually gonna be two hills. So you're gonna start here and you're gonna go around this and around this. So it looks like this. Up, and then you go in, and then you make another hill and then you go all the way to the edge of the paper. And then you're gonna do a matching one on the other side. So this line has to start equal to this line. It goes around and out. Now, on the top, this side, you are going to draw a double line, not on the bottom, just on the top. So, you're gonna put your paper, but not, it doesn't go all the way to the neck. So it starts, they're the same line, and as soon as it starts to curve out, you're gonna make it out, and then you match it around. This is how you make it look 3D. Okay? Now, in the neck of the guitar, you have two openings, 
and they're ovals. They look like that. Okay, once you have your shape done, you're, we're gonna do the lines. Now we're not gonna draw any lines through this part right here and no lines through this part or the neck of the guitar. So I'm gonna take my ruler and please use a ruler, otherwise your lines won't be straight. You're gonna start at the edge here. When you hit the circle, you hop over it. And then when you hit the edge of the guitar, you stop again. So there's our first line. And then we're gonna make another diagonal line. Start at one, and this one can just go all the way because it doesn't cross anything. And then we'll make another one. Now we also wanna make sure that our spaces stay rather large. I'm gonna draw one that goes through here. It starts here, goes right up to there. I can crisscross, but I don't wanna go through this rectangle. Now, it doesn't matter how you draw the lines as long as you leave big spaces. Okay, so that looks good to me. Now, we wanna do those kinds of lines. Here's my, the first one, on the outside too. But none of these lines on the inside connect with the lines on the outside because this is a different plane. The guitar is on top. If the lines go through, it makes the guitar flat and it doesn't look like it's sitting on top. So we're gonna do the same process. And I'm actually gonna draw a line from here to there. Cause that's the back of the, this has a top, this has a top as well. We're gonna draw lines that go, I'm gonna start at the corner. And when I hit one, I don't draw a line through the middle part on the outside. Notice I don't want to do too many because otherwise you got a lot of things to paint. So I'm going to go from there. There, I think that's good. All right, so now what you're going to want to do is you're going to take only blues and purples and you're going to paint each little space. And if they're touching, you don't want two of the same shades touching each other. So. If I were to paint this purple, then I can't use this color for anything else that touches this purple. And if you're using watercolor, you want to not paint the ones right next to each other until they dry, otherwise the color bleeds right into the next box. So if I wanna paint this one purple, and then I wanna find some other purples that are, or I wanna do some other purples in some other places that aren't touching. So this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, none of those can be purple or any of these. So I might just decide to do this one cause it's not touching. And then I want to add some blue. Oh, 
And notice I'm going all the way to the edge of each space because we do not want any white showing at the end, even in any of these little spaces. Now, when it's totally dry, you can go back with the Sharpie and trace the lines, but you do not want to do that if it's wet. Um, if you're using crayon, that won't matter so much, but it or marker. one and then I'm going to use a darker color this is a different blue Now, because I use that black marker, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's kind of bleeding into my paint. And you don't have to do this in a hurry and you don't have to do it all at one time because you want to do a nice job so you can take your time and then I can use a darker purple Okay, now I'm not gonna do this whole thing in front of you because you guys can take your time, but you get the idea now. So you wanna color each section a different color, blues and purples only. When you get to the end, you are going, and it's dry if you painted it. If not, it's dry because you've used crayon. You're going to take your black marker and your ruler, please use a ruler, and you are going to trace over the lines that you had 
marked so that you can see each little section and it kind of pops right out of the page like that. So you're gonna trace the lines like this all the way around. And you're going to sign your name at the bottom And don't do it gigantic, you just want it little right here in the bottom. Or in a square along the bottom that is light. Because if I had done it on here, you probably wouldn't be able to see it. All right, well, I look forward to seeing your blue guitars.